Now, uh, good news for Greg Gorey. Oh, good. Bring it. Billy Joe Armstrong says Green Day is back making political music because, quote, it's the perfect time for it. He's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Greg loves him some Green Day. Yeah. Stop. yeah. They stopped doing that? Right. Is that your most hated band? Probably, yeah. yeah. They're just so annoying. <laughs> yeah. Everything about them is hypocritical and annoying. <laughs> Explain. Can you uh, expound? So they act like they're like the OG punk band, and then they take separate limos everywhere. They demand all their crap, and then they say they're going to move out of the country, and they don't. Or and... they're out of the country. They say, F this country. Right. How about, how about the, the American dream is killing them? Right. Uh, the American dream is giving you mouth parties every minute of every day. <laughs> You're millionaires for playing You're the guitar. You're multi-millionaires. Just, yeah. oh, just be cool for two seconds. Now, the big story <laughs> over the break, it's what everybody's talking about. Forget everything else you heard. Okay. Daryl Hall got a restraining order against John Oates. I yeah. heard about that. That was Hall shocking. Why? Domestic it's, violence? It's over like uh, <laughs> it's one of my singing song solo, right? Right. One John my, Oates uh, is out there performing. One of my uh, friends commented on social media, come on, guys, not on Thanksgiving. Yeah, really? Our friend Donnie. It's oh. like, come on, guys. So Daryl just not wants to take a treasure bath and stay home, and Oates wants to go out. Oates well, has thing. been out on the road. They say they're involved in a confidential lawsuit, but some stuff oh. has trickled out about it. Uh, Hall says of Oates, quote, he's my business partner. He's not my creative partner. He and I are brothers. We are not creative brothers. We yeah. are business partners. We made records called Hall and Oates together, but we've always been very separate, and that's a really important thing for me, end quote. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, that means what? Yeah, the, like, we're it not means friends. he can't go for that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah. no. That's no. Right. I'm curious what the legal standing is, because obviously if you're a, a cover band of Paul and Oates, okay. they can play their songs all day long. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you have a songwriting credit on it, why can't you perform it? Yeah, exactly. He could perform, like, he, both it, of them can go out and do the same songs. And then sure. if you don't, you're just a cover yeah. band. But there's a lot of, uh, you know, lead singers from bands that go off and they do their, their own solo thing, mm -hmm. and yeah. they still mm -hmm. perform songs from, like, uh, like Mike Shinoda. From Lincoln Park, mm -hmm. he's going around, and he's doing uh, sure. he's doing his own thing. But then while he's doing these shows, there's a bunch of Lincoln Park songs that he's Gwen Stefani he's performing. does yeah, right. a mixture of her solo stuff and yeah. no doubt and stuff. No doubt stuff. Our yeah. friend Mark McGrath, I see him all the time. Dude. Yep, Sugar Ray songs right. by himself. Darius Rucker with Hootie and the Blowfish. The, yeah, you know oh, examples exactly. guys. <laughs> go on and on. I see that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else is going on in the news headlines, Greg Gorey? A bunch of Black Friday figures have been released by Adobe Analytics. I think these are pretty interesting numbers. So online shopping records were totally broken. People spent $10 billion, just under $10 billion bucks online for Black Friday instead of going somewhere in person. Yeah. Uh, the hottest Believe items it. this year, as always, TVs, uh, smartwatches, and Bluetooth headphones. And then some other popular items this year, Barbies, Roombas, cookware, coffee makers and skincare products those are the Ooh. the hot items i saw people goofing on target online mm -hmm. for taking the price tags out yeah but what they did is so they could say like you know black friday and have the the, the price sale. which was like you know 589 dollars and then there was the sign that was behind it like the regular sale sign it said sale same mm -hmm. price so mm -hmm. it was it, that's the sale price they just changed it to as the black friday sale price Right, but yeah. like, so like what I don't understand it's that's the sale price. Like, what are people upset no, because about? Because people expect it to be even cheaper on Black Friday. So well, I'm sure certain items were right. Didn't um, they? Didn't they just like blanket? Like, isn't that just kind of what they call it? Like, uh, if it's our big fall yeah, sale, but there, all of a sudden now it's a Black Friday sale. Yeah. There's kind of an Same expectation deals. that Black Friday you're getting even lower, get like even a lower. deep discount. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, yeah. But, like that's I, but it's usually just... the doorbuster deals where they'll have you know right. three TVs at that price, right. and then they're sold out, and then it's a standard sale price. Yeah, I get like um, I've seen it before, where like a place will have a, a they'll they'll say it's a sale price, and then they look at the the tag that's permanently on the shelf. It's the same damn price. That's different. Yeah. Like you say, oh, here's the sale price. No, that's that's what you normally sell it for. Well, that's why online shopping is so up because you can see on Amazon this is fifty percent off. Yeah, you but can see the difference in prices. As an Amazon addict, I don't think I ever buy anything <laughs> that doesn't have an original slice price through it crossed right. out. Sure, right, they, so, can, but they, they, they can say that if I want. Yeah, it. but you can 10%. you can check multiple websites. Yeah. See, my grandma used to be prices. really good at knowing all the prices of everything. Did you know that last week this was 10 cents cheaper per can <laughs> what, on this Campbell soup or this well, white rain shampoo? 
Like she knew, oh, because and then she'd have you drive across town, right, to go to Hills to pick up, you know, whatever the the laundry uh-huh. soap was. Oh yeah, cause that was a dollar mm-hmm. cheaper, and she knew hey, she, she was like the old school, like uh, like sales monitor. Right. Yeah. She knew. But if you're gonna buy a big ticket item, you should be like researching like a month ahead of time to see if you're actually getting a deal. And Menace, are sale. you out on the Black Friday? Because you love shopping more than anybody. Yes. Did you go out for Black Friday? I went to multiple malls, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, the only thing, I think the big item that I got was just a coffee maker um, at Costco. All right. Keurig. So. Well, oh, for- Keurig. Okay. Like, let me see. like just a regular coffee maker? No. How old school? <laughs> no. And did you do it just to like just to get it around and look at stuff? Oh, just to buy it? Just right. to put it on like, your you went to multiple like, malls. Just to be there. Did you just go there for the experience? Uh oh, the multiple malls I just like picked up some clothing and stuff like that. But I, I was just saying the big item I got was the coffee maker. Nice. Uh, <laughs> but you know, the way that Amazon does the cross out the price thing, you know how I love discount grocery stores. They'll do stuff like this bottle of wine is three ninety nine. Compare at Seventy eight dollars. Like right. you I can could? put any number you want and then think, Oh wow, I, this is seventy five. It makes you off. feel good about it, you it know. It does. Uh-huh. Well you Com- should compare it. Right. Compare it four million dollars. Wow. Our price, two bucks. You just save three point nine eight whatever million. Nobody else bought anything? Uh my no. wife my wife does all the shopping. Mm. I did not yeah. buy anything. Didn't buy one Nothing. single thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. We had the conversation again about at what point do we just, you know. Like with the gift giving, like take care of your kids, right? Right, and then everybody else, like whatever. Like everybody's adults. I'm gonna buy some stuff today because she's going through and she's like trying to find like the like the perfect idea or whatever. It's like, why is everybody killing themselves? We're all adults. Everybody's got jobs. Mm-hmm. If they want something, they can you know they can go and get it. Or if you think about them like throughout the year, you could find something that oh my god, I think Menace would really like this, and then you just give it to Menace. Like, do you hold on to it yes. for? I've been holding some things that I'm giving as gifts. I've been holding them for months. So you can't do that with kids. Mm. Kids, they change what they like so quickly. Mm. It was only a couple months ago. My daughter was like way into uh, Stitch. Stitch was it. Stitch. Oh, all the little yeah. eleven-year-old girls love Stitch again. What's From like Stitch? Lilo and Stitch. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. That character. Oh, really? Yeah. And then here it is now. Stitch is out. She could care less. Yeah. Bye, and, Stitch. Yeah. And then you know <laughs> what? Suck did, it. F you, Stitch. What did my parents get her? Bunch of Stitch crap. Oh, oh no. no. I'm, not, I'm not 11 and a half anymore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and she still likes Stitch, but I don't think it's cool to say that you like Stitch. Uh, oh. You got to be a closet it just, Stitch fan. It just, it just changes. <laughs> I'm yeah. in the closet. Raven, what are you going to buy? Stitch stuff? Yeah. I'm not buying any Stitch stuff. I'm probably going to get um, uh, PlayStation has that new PlayStation Portable. So I'm probably oh yeah, pick that was pretty cool. Like a PlayStation Portable. Jeez. For my nephew. Lucky. For Christmas. Wow. And then I have some stuff to pick up for my niece for Christmas, Wait. and it's on sale today too. You're giving oh, your good. nephew, who's in college, something that will keep him from studying. I know my sister-in-law might kill me. I might not make it back <laughs> yeah. after Christmas. And he doesn't really even like school, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, who does? That's a nice. Gift. Everything else in, around school rules. Isn't that kind of like giving a booze to an alcoholic? It could, it could be. <laughs> and I, I might. I got him a really nice bottle, you guys. Oh, thank you. And again, that's a super nice <laughs> gift for what? What does he do for you? Yeah, like, what, what will about, you get for? Yeah. Is, he, you're he, gonna he, give what do we a, get us? Well, he came over during the summer and crapped yeah. up her house. Yeah. Wait, hold on. So you're gonna give him a PlayStation Portable? He's you know. He's up age. He's got a job, right? I know he's not currently. Oh, I thought he was working. No, he was right. your summer job. So, like, yeah, what what will he do for you or get for you? What has he ever gotten? He'll probably for you? sign off on whatever his parents oh. get for me. <laughs> wow. He'll put his <laughs> name on a card. Nice. Exactly. <laughs> on the group nice. card. What? Yeah, what a mooch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, someone, yeah, in college, that, that was the number one thing that killed guys was video games that killed yeah. your grades. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and getting chicks, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> video games definitely more than that. Because that's like one night a week or whatever. Good job, Rave. Video games Rave. is every day. Yeah. Good job, Rave. Maybe I should rethink this. Maybe. <laughs>